Hey, it's Mike. I'd like to talk about Global Star Inc. This stock trades on the NYC under symbol GSAT. This stock was down over 5%, down to $2.33, and then it continued moving down a little bit after hours, down to $2.27. Take a look at the one month chart. This stock has uh, done pretty impressively well, where it moved, broke through the $1 barrier, did kind of pop really high, so it moved back a little bit, spent some time, built up a base, and then shot up through the $2 level. Uh, of course, it's going to pull back here after its big rise. However, the important part is it looks like it's going to maintain above the critical $2 level of support. And if it could do that, then I think Global Star is going to set itself up to make a move up to $5 a share. Now, for a sub $5 stock, the uh, market cap is actually pretty respectable at 38 nine billion dollars i definitely think this is a company that um, is likely to try to challenge the five dollar level and it may bounce up to the five dollar level and bounce off of it and bounce back down to four dollars or if it could break through five dollars then it could make its way through to seven dollars a share as more buyers come in uh, global star is involved in the manufacturing and the selling of satellite communications satellite phones and as you can see um there are a lot of applications that you could use satellite uh, communications with for government and public safety, transportation, energy, construction, commercial, maritime, agriculture, forestry. Um, I do think that Global Star is going to benefit from the reopen trade. Obviously, you're going to have a lot more trade moving around the globe, and there's going to be an increased need for satellite communications. Also, probably during the month, during the year of 2020, the you know the pandemic year, there probably wasn't a lot of investment in people upgrading their satellite phones. So, you can see a backup in orders that Global Star may experience over the uh, 2021. And also, you have to um, consider the fact that maybe just people do not want to be dependent on 5G. They just may want to have a satellite communication system um, just because, you know, they, they, they don't want to deal with uh, conventional communication systems, especially if you're, you know, like in remote areas. I do think satellite phones are going to be a great growth industry over the next decade. Um, I know people who actually prefer to have satellite phones, like if they go travel um, a lot and go to places that don't have the best, you know, uh, cell phone service. A satellite phone is going to give you good service no matter where you are on the planet. So I definitely think for all those reasons, I, I do believe that Global Star is going to do really well. It, you know, and just look at the price action. Just make sure that this stock can maintain above the $2 share level. If it could do that, if it could continue to, make, you know, maintain sort of a base price of around $2, I think it'll set itself up. Uh, like I said, to possibly double before the end of the year. So go ahead and keep your eye on Global Star. Again, it trades on the NYC and the symbol GSAT. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications. I do multiple daily updates on stocks, options, and stock trading strategies. Thanks a lot. Bye.